Hey, Pookies, welcome back. Welcome back. All right, we got to turn it down. Let me turn it down just a little bit. Sorry to hold a little music right now, y'all. Today is Sunday, y'all. This is the first video I made all day. I'm about to get ready to go in here and eat and hope my phone will not die in the process, y'all. But let's bless this food. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this food I'm about to receive. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for getting the trip to cook this food. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all my true supporters supporting us on our journey here on our YouTube channels. Thank you, God, for putting a roof over our head, clothes on our back, food in our mouth, water to wash with, lights to see them, and etc. Anyways, thank you, Lord Jesus, for life today on this Sunday. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for my beautiful children to be alive and breathing here too as well. And I love only to the ones that respect us. Truly, thank God, Lord Jesus, for everything He has done for us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, y'all. So let me show y'all what I got, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna eat. Yes, of course, I still got my gown on. I told y'all we got up pretty late. On the weekends we get up late, so okay, yes. My food. Yum. Yum. We can put that tongue in. Anyways. And then we got the little um, fruit punch. Everybody got fruit punch. I just fixed. I don't want to knock it over on the floor. But I got me some in the cup. And Kaya done got theirs in the cup. Let me show you how big Kaya bowl is. Oops, sorry Kaya. Kaya got her big old bowl of corn and rice and hers. Leo here on this side, she eat hers with a, with a fork. Sorry, I'm about to turn away from the video. Me and Kong. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and eat this stuff. And it looks like it's yummy, yummy. Good, now? Good, good? I can't believe you eat corn. You ate it the last time. You ate corn? No, no. It was. That roast cooked all night. Crock pot. Mm. Crock the bone. What you gonna do? We got it late. I know I got that late. I still had my phone the whole time. And it's happening.
I should have to explain myself on any videos, but y'all always be like, why she pouring them girl soda? They big enough. So they'll drink the whole bottle from everybody. <laughs> That's how my girls do. You know what, Asia would do that first. Leave it to. Who else do that? I ain't even gonna lie, I would do that. I ain't finna cap. That's a big word, though. It tastes real good. Stop at the school because you just started school. And your teacher, where your teacher be at with all that stuff going on? Oh, this was my last period. He was nowhere around because I think he was pressing stuff on. Like, he was pressing stuff on. He didn't know nothing about it. Why do I have something to say all the time? Like, that's not fair. Now, when you go ahead and jump and fight, they think it's a problem. But it's, that's crazy because parents tell the children, if somebody come into your face, handle what you got to handle. But at the same time, what they calling you names and saying something to you for? And that's actually they doing they doing that shit on purpose they know what they're doing they know exactly what they're doing and i'll be right to that schoolhouse on monday and talk with that principal because before you fight again because they always running their lip they must have come out of household with it they ain't got no no um they must be out of control or something there ain't no way in the world in my house i allow my child to go to school and bully somebody else's child that's bullying and you just started that school there ain't nothing wrong with you New clothes, new shoes, two hundred dollars. What them shoes about two hundred dollars? Two fifty. Fuck hell, people we tripping. We ain't having the bubblegum shoes. We be going to school. Not the fact they talking about the shoes. They just talking about you, period, in general. Your hair done. You got nice shoes on. Nice clothes. What else they got to say? They always got something to say. You can call you steak all you want. You can't. You took a shower before you got to go to school, so you don't worry about all that. And you ain't steak. You got plenty of deals. Plenty of soap, plenty of water. You ain't stank. You took a shower before you left that. You left before you go to school for the last two days. Exactly. A freak. Stank. Yeah, you got you got the right child telling somebody to stank because you ain't stank. And you know you ain't stank, don't worry about it. Yeah, yep, that's a lodger. Yeah. Yep, he'll, he'll stand right at the corner, he'll pee. I don't know. That's weird to me. Yeah, he do it all the time. I'm in the kitchen cooking one morning. And he come out the corner, he said, and he, when, he, when he come out the corner, he'll say, good morning. Sometimes he'll say, mama, what you, what you doing? That's a logic. Yep. You know, just a little people. You know, you know, you, if you know you ain't stink, if you know you got nice clothes and shoes on, you know your hair done, you know everything look good on you, don't worry about what they say. Because they trolling you. They already know I'm on it. They, they know I'm on in there because the girls told me at your school, she said, hey, Miss Nika, hey, Nana. Oh, that's the eighth graders now. Oh, all I'm trying to bully up on you. Okay, bully up. No, 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 no. That was last year, eighth grade. And then now we eighth grade, so now she's trying to. No, you can't get in no fights. You get a spell, you're going to lose. You're going to graduate to go to high school. That's what they're trying to push. But before the, before the problem gets so big. Yeah, I seen that. Before it gets too big, we need to go and have a talk with your principal and your, and your teachers. She graduated. She graduated. They gave an opportunity. That's mad. She was trying to break up the 
My thing is these kids in school wanna bully other kids and wanna jump and fight the, the right kid. As soon as Leah get in a fight again, they gonna wanna expel her for the rest of the school year. No, we're not doing that this year. They need to keep their mouth closed and stop trying to come after one person. Even if they're watching me on the internet, it doesn't even matter. My child ain't got nothing to do with the, the, um, the school. That's bullying. They doing it already. She only been in the school two days. Come on, bruh. Ain't nothing to stake over here. I was hurt about it, cause it was like- I would've been hurt too. And when I watched that Ronald Clark movie, I just started smiling because it, like, it was like, yeah, that movie was so good. I watched it before. I just started smiling. Okay, we're going to smile too at that schoolhouse on Monday when I go up there and go pull that principal out and tell her what's going on again. I don't want to hear mama don't do it because I'm going to do it this time. Because the last time it got to the point to where I told you that day you came home, you said mama should keep bullying. I said she come up in your face. You handle what you got to handle and you did that. She kept, spoke, she, she kept, she spoke loud, like, to the point where I could hear it. She knocked. She was like, and she had to jump in or something. So I was like, what? If, this, if the principals can get these students together, like, they can pull y'all together and have a little meeting with y'all. But that's ain't going to help none because the kids not. still going to do what they do. And then they're going to be considered a snitch. How you consider a snitch somebody bullying you? You ain't no snitch. Uh, you know, snitch is trying to bring you. I'm just calling you names. That's like, no, because I don't know. I don't know. She was like, she was like, you hungry? You eat corn? You, you hungry? Hey, put that back. Give me one drink off the stove. Somebody called me a thing. I was like, I looked at her and I started my drum. She tapped me in and I ignored it. She tapped me again. I wanna know it too because it, you know you ain't stench. I was like, why are you touching me? You know I'm ignoring Yeah, that right there, that's, that's too much. You don't worry about the haters, you don't worry about them trolls at that school either. They trying to troll you. They know, they, cause that girl, all them children at that school, half of them know that I'm on the internet. When they spoke to me that day, I come to school, I was like, oh, they watch. So they trying to, they trying to do whatever they can to bully you. But the right thing that you do is when we go to the school on Monday, I'm gonna talk with your principal, let them know what's going on. This is day three here, tomorrow. You just start the school and they bullying you. Talk with the principal, let the principal know who's doing it. And she don't, and she don't handle it the way she's supposed to. As a parent, I told you behind closed doors, do what you do best. And they're gonna keep talking and annoy them. If they ain't in your face, then don't worry about it. But they ain't gonna keep sitting there bullying you for no reason. Kids killing themselves because of that bullying shit. And we don't want that shit in my house. And you stronger than that. You stronger than that. You know how to handle some art. Cause you talk to me about it. I don't like no shit like that. I don't like that at all. Not no child of mine. You bullying the wrong kid now. Anyways, y'all been sitting here little and got me into this conversation with this bullying shit at the school again. I'm gonna sit here eating and forgot the camera, but forget it. I gotta post my video anyway, because like I said, when the bullying going in the schoolhouse, a lot of parents don't know that the bullying's going on. These kids come home and hang themselves, kill themselves, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? You hear so many stories of these kids killing themselves because they're being bullied in school and nobody doing nothing about it. Not no kid of mine. My kids gonna learn how to protect themselves when they go to school. It's just like everybody human in that schoolhouse. All them kids are human just like you are. Some of their household, households are broken. Nobody don't know what's going on inside of their household. And they come to school and want to take it out on everybody else. And that's not fair. Because you coming from a fixed household, they coming from a broken household, and they want to fucking come down to the school and tear you down to make you feel lower like they feel low. Because of the shit that they go through in their household behind closed doors. You never know what a person goes through behind closed doors in their household. But they want to bring down the next, don't let no motherfucker bring you down. Fuck them. They want to keep talking and saying shit, let them talk. As long as they ain't putting their hands on you, you good to go. I want to keep hearing nobody keep saying they won't talk about you. I stay. You ain't staying. Staying. Okay, staying. They don't do that. You my child. All y'all my kids. Anybody go to school with that bully and stuff? I don't deal with that. Guys, right, come here. I mean, come here. They slide to a plate. Me? He don't want a little bit of corn put on the side. What's in that oven right now? 
Get that little poop on. That little right there. Add some gravy on it and put a little piece of, a little piece of rose on it and a little corn on the side. Anyways, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your notification when we post a video. You know when we post a video. One thing I have zero, I have zero tolerance for bullying, y'all. I was bad in school coming up. I used to get bullied about my hair and everything. And I was that person. I didn't care what nobody say. That girl walk up a minute, walk up on me that day, and she tried to push me. Man, me home went to work in that gymnasium. I wasn't playing that. I told night, nah, ain't I show you the girl that I fight. Yeah. And she told me, oh yeah, you bar all over the internet. I see her in the store a couple months. Ago. That was two years ago. I seen her in the store. She says. Oh. She says, oh yeah, you bar all over the internet. You remember me? I said, I remember we fighting in school. She said, oh yeah. I remember exactly who you is. Yeah, I got into a fight at school. I've been bad too, but at the same time, I never bully somebody else's child. I've been bad as fucking school though, for real. I'm one of them kids that ain't listening. got my ass tipped every time I got home from school. I was bad. But bullying is not what we want this year. Last year, we had enough of that. That's why that fight broke out. Because the girl kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. She wouldn't stop for nothing. She kept going. God dang. Nobody got time for no bullying. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get off this camera. Um, Ronda, I'm to come get your dinner, boy. How you about it?